I feel like a couple mini little pretzel buns and a couple mini pretzels. Really easy to do at home, doesn't require a lot of skill at all, so let's get into it. We're going to mix together some all-purpose flour, kosher salt, instant yeast, and brown sugar. Bring this all together, add in my olive oil and water, mix it around until you get a dough forming. Dump it out onto your counter. This is where I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I've made this recipe before. This doesn't feel right. Turns out I just casually forgot to add three quarters of a cup of flour. So we're gonna add that in and then we will knead it for a total of eight minutes until it is a smooth dough. It starts off really sticky, but it is fairly nice to work with. Just hang in there, you can do it. We're going to round it off, stick it back in the bowl, cover it with a damp kitchen towel and set it aside for about 60 minutes or until it's about doubled in size. Once it's doubled, we are going to divide it into six equal-ish pieces. I did weigh it because I want to try and make them equal. Like I said, these are going to be like little mini buns and little mini pretzels, so feel free to make this recipe this way once and then you'll get a feel for the size and you can decide if you want to just make three buns or if you want to make four buns or if you like the little minis. And I'm gonna shape some of them into little buns just by rounding them off and I'm gonna shape a couple into a pretzels. By no means am I a great pretzel maker. I don't do this very often. This is probably the first time I've made pretzels in like actual pretzel shapes in like <laughs> eight years, <laughs> so I mean like, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Once they're shaped, place them on a cookie sheet lined with parchment or silicone or whatever you have on hand. In a, a larger pot, I'm gonna bring some water and baking soda to a boil. Once it's boiling and your little buns and pretzels have rested for about 30 minutes, you can put them in the boiling water top side down for about 30 seconds and flip them about 15 seconds in so you get the bottoms and then you can remove them from the boiling water onto the same cookie sheet. If they're little buns, you can do the little cross hatch on top of it to get that classic like opened up shape. I happen to have really coarse salt on hand so I'm sprinkling it but like any salt that you have on hand would do just great. Repeat it with all your little pretzels and buns. After that, we can bake them in a 425 degree oven. You want them pretzel color and they should smell like pretzels. Mine took 15 minutes, but your oven is gonna vary, of course. And that's like literally it. They're not very hard. <laughs> I promised. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> you can literally do this. <laughs> little a pretzel. Nice and hard on the outside and squishy on the bottom. I think this is gonna be really tasty. It smells like a pretzel, which is exciting. The crust and the crunch, but the softness, like straight up pretzel vibes, man. This dipped in a bit of mustard and like munched. Delicious. I highly recommend. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Much appreciated. Bye.